Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am leading you through a 15 minute abs and booty focused workout. You are going to need a booty band for this session, so make sure that you have that ready to go. Also make sure you have something soft beneath you and make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so I have all three of my resistance bands with me today. I'm gonna start off with my medium strength band. And we're gonna put that on just above the knees. And our first exercise is gonna be some banded side steps. So you're gonna have a slight bend in your knees. You're gonna be leaning slightly forward. And we're gonna use this resistance on the band to step to the side, twice one way and the other way. So we wanna make sure we're not letting our knees cave inwards. We wanna press those knees outwards the whole time. Nice job. We're taking a 15 second rest. All of our exercises today are 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest. And this is a no repeat workout. So we're moving on to our next exercise, which is just gonna be some banded squats. So nice and simple. We're just making sure again, that the knees are pressing outwards as we come down, coming all the way down in our squat. And then as we come up again, we don't let those knees cave inward. We're feeling the resistance on the band the whole time. Nice job. Keeping the band on where it is, you're gonna do a good morning to a squat. So fingertips are gonna be by your ears. Same thing, keeping the knees pressed outwards, leaning it forward, hinging at the hips, coming up, down to a banded squat, and up. Forward, hinge at the hips. So don't forget about your core here. Make sure that your ribs are closed. into the outsides of those feet and sit back in those heels. Nice job. We're gonna come to the ground. I'm gonna throw on my heavy resistance band and we're going to do some banded glute bridges. So pressing those knees outward, weight in those heels. Pressing those hips all the way up to the sky. Squeeze those glutes. Good, flip that band off. We're gonna stay down here in a glute bridge position. And we're gonna do the same thing coming up to a glute bridge, but this time at the top, 
You're gonna use that core, lift one leg up at a time, control down. And then we're coming down in between, pressing the low back to the floor, coming up, and hips stay up. We don't drop the hips as we lift the leg. Control that leg down, really use that core. Good, we're gonna stay down here on our back. Here we're gonna do a leg drop. So dropping the legs to where we can keep the low back on the floor, then you're gonna bring one leg in at a time. Reverse crunch, extend, other leg in, and extend, and up. So dropping down, one leg in. These are just small crunches. And up. If the reverse crunch motion is too much, you're just gonna bring one leg in, extend, and your low back stays pressed to the floor the whole time. Staying down here, we're gonna do some scissor crunches or elbow to knees. So fingertips behind your head, just lightly supporting your head. You're gonna have a slight bend in your knees. And we're switching, reaching for that opposite elbow, crunching, pressing the low back to the floor. Remember not to pull on your neck. Good, from here we're gonna do a full sit up, fingertips behind the ears or you can have them straight up above head. Coming up, then from here, you're going to twist, two, three, four, all the way down. So you're twisting as you come down. Coming up, twist, 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 twist. Nice job. Throw your band back on. I'm putting on my medium band for this. We're gonna come into tabletop. You're gonna do a kickback or a donkey kick, totally up to you, into a fire hydrant. So stretch that leg for a kickback to the back and then open it up to the side for a fire hydrant. We're just sticking with one leg. Make sure that leg's coming all the way to the back. And as you bring that leg up to the side for a fire hydrant, think about your core. Nice 
job. Take a quick 15 second rest. We're gonna do the other side. Here we go, other side. job take that band off real quick we're gonna come down into a plank you can do this plank on your hands or on your forearms totally up to you coming down nice straight line using that core we're gonna lift one leg at a time squeeze and hold use that glute job we're gonna stand it up next up we're gonna do some reverse lunges with a twist and a knee drive so you're gonna step it back into your lunge as you come up here I should do it this way as you come up you're gonna twist so bring opposite elbow towards that knee twist use that core come down and twist So body is straight as you come down into your lunge and then you twist. Nice job, shake it out, we're gonna do the other side. So stepping back with opposite leg, bring that knee through, opposite elbow twist. Job. We're gonna throw our band back on. Last couple exercises. We're gonna do a banded squat with a pulse at the bottom. So come down, pulse, and up. As you come up, make sure we're not hinging the hips forward and losing tension on the glutes. We wanna press those legs outward, have a slight bend in our upper body so that the tension stays on those glutes. Press those knees outward. Don't forget about your core here as well.
good, we have one more exercise. We're going back to the beginning, just like how we were doing these side steps, but this time, as you step to the side, you're gonna come down to a squat, hold, and come up, and then we go to the other side. Here we go. So step it to the side, all the way down, hold, control, come up. Step to the side. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this core and booty focused workout. If you did, you wanna see more like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description and I will see you guys inside the app.